Hi, it's Dana Nightfly Childs from Proview Sports here at the Jack Candelaria Community Center so we can learn more about Matthew Diamond Boy Griego. He's on the card for March 17th as part of Route to Glory. This amazing boxing card is happening at Route 66 Casino in the Legends Theater with 10 professional bouts, 10 Albuquerque fighters, and you can get your tickets now online at rt66casino.com or holdmyticket.com. Well, let's take a few minutes and learn more about the undefeated Matthew Diamond Boy Griego. Matthew, thanks for your time. I know you got a big fight coming up on March 17th. Why are we here at the Jack Candelaria Community Center? Uh, my training is going good. Um, we're actually here because our, our heater at our gym went out at, over there, so we had to come work out this morning over here. So that's why we're here today. And normally you have another gym where you do most of your workouts? Yeah, yeah, at Trisco Boxing. Um, we train on Kenny Brick. It's, it's behind Fidel Maldonado Jr.'s house. It's a, it's a little gym, but we have everything we need, and um, we build champions there. As you're getting ready for Route to Glory on March 17th, tell us about your workout schedule. Well, I'll get ready for a fight. I do two days usually. Um, I wake up in the morning, come here, go for a run. Manuel Naya takes me for a run. Come back, get a workout in and then go to work because I'm a barber, so I have to work too. I go to work, get out about five, go to our other gym and get our workout in there, mitts, jump rope, bag work, um, speed bag, everything, just get it done there and then go home and that's the rest of my day, get some rest. So with all of that hard work, all the energy you're putting into this, are you going to make weight? You're going to try to get to uh, fly weight. Are you going to make that? Oh yeah, I'll make that easily. I mean, I walk around like 121, 122, so drop no more than 10 pounds is simple for me. I make weight pretty easy, sometimes underweight. <laughs> Diamond Boy, I like that nickname. Where did that come from? Uh, my, my, my birthstone is actually a diamond. So um, when I was younger, my mom would always tell me, your, your nickname has to be Diamond Boy, your birthstone's a diamond. And um, she would always tell me that I'm her diamond, that I'm, I'm her diamond. So I guess that's where it came from. My mom pretty much gave it to me. And I understand it was your mother who got you into boxing at a very young age. Yeah, yeah, she took me to the gym one day at um, Tony Rosales. I went over there and I started hitting the bags and, and right off the bat, they, he said I was, I was made for this, I was born for this. So I stuck with it. I won a lot of fights, fought a lot of fights, and I'm here now, so. With an undefeated record and seven knockouts, you have to feel pretty good about a few of your combinations, or maybe you have a favorite punch. What would that be? Uh, my favorite punch is probably my left hook, but I put people down with the left hook, I put them down with a right hand, I put them down with an uppercut. I mean, it just varies. The shot they don't see, and it surprises me, puts them on the floor, and that's what ends the fight. <laughs> Which quickest fight? Um, I've had a couple of quick ones, probably the first round within about a minute, so yeah. I understand you have a social cause that's important to you. Yeah, um, I'm a child abuse advocate, so I go around to schools, I talk to students about child abuse and child abuse awareness. I've made shirts of like names that of kids that have passed away from child abuse, so um, it's a pretty touchy subject and it's something I really want to work on with the, with the state, city, um, as I get bigger and hopefully influence a lot of lives. Sadly, we need that kind of advocacy here in Albuquerque and New Mexico. And good work you're doing there, Matt. So that's your social cause, but when you get into that ring on Saturday night, March 17th at Route 66 Casinos, part of Route to Glory, personally, who are you fighting for? I fight for my city. I fight for Albuquerque. I love where I come from and um, I'm, I'm real proud of where I come from. I know it's not the best city in the world sometimes, but to me it is and, and that's what I fight for. <laughs>